Hey everyone, Jordan here back with another Proto Tech Tip. This week, we're going to talk about how we determine the cost and lead time for your CNC machine parts using complexity. So when you bring your CNC designs to ProCase, the first step our engineers will take will be evaluating your design according to our internal complexity rubric. This will help us determine what sort of risk and difficulty will be associated with manufacturing your part. Protocase, after all, is a mass custom manufacturer. For us, our lead times are critical. Our customers often come to us with strict lead time requirements because they have project deadlines to meet. This means we will need to ensure that your parts are properly assessed during the quoting stage. In this way, we can ensure that we manufacture them on time. The higher the complexity rating, the longer the lead time and cost of your part. Let's go through some of the factors that help us determine what the complexity of your part is. And with this information, you can save time and money with your designs. So what goes into determining complexity? The first aspect of complexity we're going to talk about today is part operations. In other words, the machine setups. CNC machine parts in general are manufactured almost solely using CNC lathes or mills in multiple part operations or setups. A setup is required every time the part needs to be removed and loaded back into the machine. With each additional setup, there is an increased risk of your part not complying with specifications. And in turn, this can affect the lead time. It isn't necessarily simple to determine the number of setups your part will require, but if you speak to our team of engineers, they can help give you direction on what features may cause your design to require additional setups. Essentially, a new setup will need to occur every time the machine can't reach a section of geometry on your part. The next complexity factor I want to talk about is work holding. How the part is held in the machine setup determines the predictability we have when programming the part. If the part is held in a simple vise, then it's easy to predict how the stress of machining will affect the part. Conversely, if you have to jig the part or use other complicated work holding techniques, it becomes much more difficult to predict how the part is going to react when it's machined. Work hold can vary greatly with respect to complexity. If a part requires a fixture or a jig to manufacture it, that means we need to add the cost and time of manufacturing those jigs and fixtures to the order for your part. Put simply, the less predictable the work holding is for your part, the more complicated it is to manufacture and thus the increased complexity rating. Next up, tolerances. You've probably heard us discuss tolerances a few times now if you've been following this video series. You can think of tolerances as an engineer's margin for error. Nothing can be manufactured perfectly when turning a theoretical CAD model into a real life part. So our tolerances are what set the acceptable error limits on part dimensions. The smaller the tolerance, the more likely we won't be able to manufacture it within specification the first time. Achieving tight tolerances may involve adjusting program parameters, inputting different tooling offsets, or other adjustments to manufacturing technique. This increases the risk and difficulty of manufacturing the part. Therefore, we need to increase the complexity rating. Next up is tooling. We stock a wide variety of tooling and in large quantities here at Protocase. However, sometimes in order to manufacture your part, we need to procure non-stock tooling. We make sure we are conservative as possible when ordering this non-stock tooling in order to minimize the cost that's passed on to you. When dealing with non-stock tooling, we likely don't have as thorough testing data as we have with our stocked options, as we don't use the tool as frequently or perhaps at all. This increases the risk of your part going late, as untested tooling has a greater risk of failure. It may also run out of tool life quicker than we predict, due to our lack of testing. This will increase the lead time if we need to order more tooling than we expect. The last factor that will come into play when determining part complexity is the geometry of the part. Certain part features will make manufacturing the design much more complicated. We have talked about this in the past, but because of the near infinite ways that you can design and machine parts on a CNC mill, it won't be possible to go into this in too much depth. Instead, let me give you a quick rundown of some of the features that will make your design much more difficult to manufacture. Very deep features, like pockets, are limited by available tooling. Very small features, like ones with cross-sectional areas less than a sixteenth of an inch, can be tough to make. Complex 3D geometries can also be very tough to make. These are only a few examples of feature types that may affect part complexity. As always, you can reach out to our team and we will help give you direction on how you can modify your part to simplify manufacturing. Or our engineering and design services team can modify the part for you. We're here to help you keep your projects moving and get your CNC machine parts made as quickly as possible. Keep your eyes open for a new video coming soon that will give more detail on CNC part geometry and features. Thanks for watching this week's Prolo Tech Tip. 
If you've got a topic that you want covered in a future video, comment below to let us know. We'll see you back here next week.